This is weekend six of the barbecue build. It's Friday afternoon and I'm out of gas. I just don't got anything in me to do anything tonight. So we'll get back to it tomorrow. Um, I did have one of my guys throw uh, the firebox door on the big CNC mill and uh, cut a slot in there for that um, uh, firebox insulation uh, cord to be able to give it a good seal. So got that thing done, but I didn't even do that today. So anyway, we'll get to it in the morning and see what Saturday morning looks like. Well, we are now on weekend, I think, uh, five or six, I don't know, I lost track. Anyway, today we're starting out with uh, finishing up the uh, firebox door. I had uh, my guys you know, a slot around the uh, perimeter here so it'll seal up uh, with some uh, wood stove uh, insulation, you know, the little rope insulation will get glued into theirs. That way we'll have a good seal on that firebox. And for my next trick, I will be turning this perfectly good brand new six inch C-clamp into a firebox door regulator. There she is, all welded in. Goes up and down. Alignment was a little tricky, but I got it pretty good. Uh, it should be fine when it's hanging straight down. Right now it's tending to bind up against the back a little bit, I think, but uh, when all the weight's just hanging straight down on it, it should be fine. So in case you don't get the concept here, basically we're using the cut up vise to act as our, let's see, up a little bit, act as our door opener and closer. Right, turn the vise. the air door. Pretty cool. Now that the C-clamp air damper is all installed, I'm ready to mount this thing to the firebox. A little worried, nervous about this part. Uh, first thing I did on that slot we milled in there, I put some um, of that uh, fireproof um, wood-burning stove insulating rope. That should seal us up real nice. And once you know it, it's about two inches short. Story of my life. Let's see how this goes. We have a door! Woohoo! Look at that! That didn't go on as hard as I thought it would. Actually, it went pretty easy. See, I just welded the, uh, the bent three quarter inch rod to the sides. And. It opens nice and smooth. All thanks to my faithful helper who's always here for me to give me a hand or give me a lift. Mr. Komatsu, thank you very much. We're getting close to wrapping it up for the evening here on a Saturday. And in case uh, 1,125 square inches of cooking space isn't enough, what I did was I welded in these upper tracks in case I wanted to make some more grates for the top. So I can put some uh, 16 by 48 inches worth of grates into there and uh, increase the cooking space by probably about uh, 60%. So. I figured better be doing it now than to have to do it later and then ruin the paint and have to repaint and all that other fun stuff. So there you go. Grates can be a project for another day if we want to. Well, I think everything that I could think of has been done. So right now, I guess it's uh, time to throw it on the scale, see where we weigh in and take the wheels off and 
get it ready to go to the uh, sandblaster. So let's take a little ride with the forklift, take it over to the scale, see how much damage we've done to this bad boy. And now for the moment of truth, see what this bad boy weighs in at. Let's lower the forks. See what kind of damage we've done. Holy crap. 1,214 pounds. Well, that got a little out of hand. I thought it would end up over a thousand, but I guess last time we weighed it, we didn't have the tuning plates and the fire grade and all that other big, heavy, monstrous stuff in there. So I guess there's still gonna be a few more pounds going onto it, but looks like she's gonna weigh about 1250 when she's done. Holy crap. Well, one final note on a uh, down note, I guess, is that, uh, as I was putting this thing away, thinking I was gonna take the wheels off to take it to powder tomorrow, I noticed that there's something off with the hinges. And that the lid isn't shutting again. Looks like it's hanging up in here. Must have been something that changed when I did the final weld in on that uh, last ceiling piece. So I guess I'm gonna have to take a look at that tomorrow. And it doesn't look like it's going to powder tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning or whatever. Damn.